Hi everybody. In the last couple of videos, we talked about remote access benefits and how it works. In this video, we're going to demo how easy it is to enable remote access to individual assets within the OT. So let's start with Bar. The first thing that Bar has to do, he has to launch his browser and log into the Fabric portal hosted on the Zage node, which is located inside the IDMZ. To do so, he's going to use his Active Directory credentials as a single sign-on. Once logged in, Bar gets a list of devices that he has access to. We can see the monitoring application, the SCADA pack, and the wind farm CPU engineering workstation. Bar is then going to get access to the engineering workstation. In the background, of course, an account is created for him, an RDP proxy is enabled, and all of the trapping go is going through the secure tunnel that we described before. As you can see, the clock is ticking here, which means that the SCADA software is able to communicate with the PLC, which makes sense because Bar has access to that PLC. Let's try BMOLI. Since BMOLI has NFA authentication enabled, he has to provide an additional fa factor. Once provided, BMOLI gets a completely different set of devices. You get the Rock and the Wind Farm CPU. Similarly, now BMOLI is getting a session on the engineering workstation, again, through the RDP proxy with a special account created for him. And you can see that in his case, he gets the Rock software loaded and it's online meaning that the, the SCADA software is able to communicate with the rock. This demo demonstrates how easy it is to create and enforce identity-based access all the way to individual assets, and how easy it is for the users to actually use that system, greatly simplifying their workflows.